All right, is there a 100% free antivirus? Yeah, there is, but to answer, can I trust a free antivirus? <laughs> well, that question is not quite as easy to answer. And the hard truth is, no, you can't. Mm. Hey, welcome to Cyber News, or welcome back. Now look, I have been testing countless antivirus programs over the past year, I'm exhausted, all to determine which ones meet our high security standards, which is the right fit for your online activities, and which doesn't slow your PC down. So why don't we jump into this best free antivirus video? Let's start with Total AV Free Antivirus. Now, the free version aside, Total AV as a whole has a pretty excellent reputation great independent testing scores, top marks in performance and usability, and just a tiny bit behind the average with their detection scores, all of which adds up to a pretty trustworthy name. But when looking specifically at their free plan, can we call it the best free antivirus for Windows 11? Well, there are some significant pros and yeah, some significant cons as well. Look, the free plan is basic. But don't get me wrong, you can still run a smart scan to determine harmful threats and how to resolve them. There's also a way to quarantine or delete any harmful threats all for free, which means they can't cause any damage to your device while they're waiting to be removed. Yep, just like some other providers do. So you've got anti-phishing protection, where again, I was able to dodge and block any phishing sites as I browsed about. There's also the Web Shield browser extension, which is available on most major browsers, and it's free to download. And while the concept is excellent, the implementation is, well, actually a little disappointing, but it does provide protection against privacy and security risks, straight from your browser too. Stuff like ransomware and other threats. On Chrome and Firefox, it guarded my privacy and stopped trackers as I went from site to site. However, it isn't as consistent across all versions and it doesn't block intrusive ads. So as far as the free capabilities go, well, that's about it. If your device is already infected, sure, it will remove and help rid your device of nasty malware. Something even Windows Defender lacked in my free antivirus testing with them, where it detected <laughs> zero of the malicious files that I planted. So yeah, having said that, Total AV isn't really advanced when it comes to safeguarding your device. There's no real-time protection for free, so it isn't monitored around the clock for threats. There's also no firewall, and these two things are must-haves in my humble opinion anyway. You get protection on one device with the ability to contact customer support all for free, so not bad. And I should mention, although their malware database will be the same regardless of the plan you choose, the features are very different here. I'd only recommend the free plan to a total newbie, since it's really a bare bones solution and not the best antivirus for Windows 11 or 10 that I've encountered. Okay, so if you're wondering, well, what is the best free yet unintrusive antivirus software? Then check out Bitdefender Free. It's light on my system CPU and runs silently in the background. This is one of the main reasons I'd recommend it as one of the best free antivirus for Windows 10. What's impressive is the AI-driven software, which means threats are instantly detected and isolated in real time. This makes their free plan stand out in the market, but you can only use it on one device at a time, and there's no firewall with the free plan. And reputation-wise, Bitdefender as a company has won AV Comparative's product of the year four times in total, which is actually more than any other competitor. And it blocked 100% of threats in the April 2022 testing. So if you're looking to just run virus scans to remove malware, it's a great option, especially for beginners with its simple dashboard and easy to understand tabs on the side. They've scored top marks in usability and well, you could see why with their layout. Even automatic upgrades and live customer support are included with their free plan. So yeah, there's a theme emerging here from both of these free antivirus for PC options. They're basic, but consistent. So now if you're wondering what's the fastest free antivirus for Windows 10, well, Bitdefender won't perform the quickest full scans. It took just under 20 minutes in my testing, while Total AV took under 15. Despite not being able to benefit from their optimization tools for free, it's still a good basic package to have running in the background as you do your daily activities. Now, something people often overlook is the workaround of the free trials. Now, hang on, stay with me here. 
This basically means that you can test a premium version, which is a fully fledged cybersecurity tool for a limited time. Now, whether you're new to antivirus providers or not, I'd highly recommend trying out Norton's plan just to see what kind of protection and features that you'd actually benefit the most from. It is one of the best antivirus for PC options on the market after all. Their free trial is for seven days and offers full access to additions, including ransomware protection, which yeah, is a big time growing threat within the industry. There's also a VPN, which safeguards your anonymity while you browse, and even a password manager in there too. What's really great is their identity theft protection, which even with the standard trial, you can get notified should your info end up on the dark web. And like the Bitdefender free trial, Norton uses sophisticated AI to monitor your device for advanced threats. Yep, including stuff like spyware. And they have a smart firewall, which is two-way, while monitoring sent and received network traffic. You know, come to think of it, that firewall is the most advanced on the market with more functionalities than the competition. Hmm, just saying. Now, I will also say that despite features opening in different tabs, it's still easy to manage. Besides, whichever trial you go for, you could still test it out on one to five devices. Also, yeah, seven days is a bit short. So if you decide to stay with this provider, you can find discount links down in our description, especially if you decided that you'd like to take their premium plans for a little ride, as you should. All right, so how does Bitdefender free trial compare then? Well, they're available for a full 30 days with every plan. While the entry level plan, Antivirus Plus, has some great additions, my favorite for PC is their total security package. With that, I was able to ensure my privacy even further with the firewall protection. There's also ransomware protection, which ensures your files can't be encrypted by a cyber criminal. And there's some additional security tools like a VPN and password manager, all to add some extra security oomph. And even though the performance of Bitdefender is already pretty good, despite taking a little while to install, the premium counterpart comes with system optimization tools. So with this trial, I was easily able to declutter my PC and get rid of those older duplicate and annoying useless files. All that stuff, plus the parental controls, let me have complete control over my device and my kids' devices. I could limit screen time and even customize visitable sites with this feature. It was really a worthwhile experience, especially since you can try it all out for free. I mean, come on, what's there to lose, right? So yeah, as I mentioned before, free trials do have considerably more capabilities than the free but basic plans. But yeah, the trials, they're not free forever. So if you'd like advice on free cybersecurity tools and trials in the future, well, then perhaps you could consider subscribing to our channel and join our growing community. Okay, so what is the free antivirus versus free trial verdict? Look, I can't lie, answering which is the number one free antivirus for PC is not a one size fits all kind of solution. That's why free plans and free trials are an excellent way to test the waters before you make any commitments. Now, whether you decide to stick with the free basic plans or opt for the premium trials, well, just getting protected is really what's important here. And each of these providers have excellent offerings. Bitdefender has a great reputation and it's easy to use, while the Norton free trial uses advanced technology to protect your device around the clock, or go with Total AV free for a quick but simple fix. Hey, what's your best antivirus for Windows 10 and 11 opinion? Any recommendations on the free antivirus for Windows 10 debate? Hey, that's all I've got. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that I'm gonna catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.